Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I want to focus on in this video is the rules of positive and negative numbers. So you can see here I have some example problems that we're going to do here in a second. And uh, this isn't too difficult. It's actually pretty easy. However, I think we're, a lot of students have problems um, with this is because it's very easy and not difficult. It's easy to confuse. All right, so what I'm going to try to do is, is kind of organize your thoughts so you can um, you know, really master this. It's absolutely essential that you know how to deal with these positive and negative numbers because they're going to come up over and over again. All right, so basically I'm going to break this up in two groups. We're going to look at multiplication and division okay? because the rule or the rules that apply um, are the same for both multiplication and division. So this is kind of like one set of rules, okay, and it's really easy. And then we're going to go over here and take a look at addition and subtraction. And this is a completely different set of rules, but basically if you know how to add positive and negative numbers, you'll be able to subtract them. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, multiplication and division problems. So the rule is this. The rule is if the signs are the same, Okay, like here we have a negative and a negative. If the signs are the same, are the same, your answer is positive. All right, real easy. So we have a negative eight times a negative two, so it's gonna be positive sixteen. Same signs, positive. All right, and the same rule applies for division. So let's take a look at this one. We have negative forty divided by a negative ten. So of course our answer is going to be a positive four. Okay, so once again, same signs, a negative and a negative, your answer is positive. And of course, a positive times a positive, your answer is going to be positive. Real easy. So that just leaves us with these um, opposite signs. So here we have a positive times a negative. So any times the signs, the signs are different, your answer is going to be negative. And that is the same case whether it's multiplication or division. Okay, so different signs answer is negative. So positive 8 times negative 2, negative 16. Or for example, positive 40 divided by a negative 10, negative 4. Okay, same signs, answer is positive. Just quickly kind of wrap this up. Okay, whether you're multiplying or dividing, same signs, answer is positive, different signs, answer is negative. All right, so that's kind of like one set of rules, only for multiplication and division. Now let's go over here and talk about adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. So all you really need to do is learn how to add positive and negative numbers, because if you get that down, uh, basically we're going to take these subtraction problems and turn them into addition problems. So the only thing you need to know how to do is to be able to add positive and negative numbers, and you'll be set. So let's take a look at how to do this. It's actually pretty easy, too. So let's look at this example. We have negative 3 plus negative 8. So we have same signs. Okay, we're going to be adding um, two uh, numbers with the same sign. So this is negative 3 plus a negative 8. So all you do is just add up the numbers and keep the sign. So this is going to be a negative 11. Real easy. Okay, so here if I had positive 3 plus a positive 8, I'm going to add up the numbers and keep the same sign, which is positive. Okay. So adding, let's just review again. If you're adding up numbers with the, and they have the same sign, you simply add them up and keep the same sign. Now this brings us to our final situation, okay, where, where we're talking about um, adding. And that is what happens if the signs are different? Now if the signs are different, like we have here, we have a negative eight plus a positive three. Well, what we have to do, instead of adding the numbers, we have to subtract them, okay? So in this case, we're going to be subtracting 8 and 3. So that's going to be 5. And now what we have to do is determine what sign our answer is going to be. Is it going to be a positive 5 or a negative 5? And the way you determine that is to, is to look at the biggest number. So the largest number in the problem was 8. Okay, So 8 is larger than 3. But this is a negative 8, so our answer is going to be a negative 5. Okay, Now, a math teacher or myself, I could teach you this in a much more formal type of way, but I'm trying to give you practical language or uh, practical meaning behind these rules. So let's go ahead and do another problem. Let's say we had, oh, I don't know, 10 plus negative 17. Okay, so let me go ahead and ask you, are the signs the same? No, okay, uh, one's positive, one's negative, so we're going to end up subtracting 
these numbers, which are what we call the absolute value. So in other words, I'm going to kind of disregard this sign. So the difference between 10 and 17 would be 7. Okay. Now, is it going to be a positive 7 or a negative 7? Well, 17 is a larger number here, and it's negative, so this is going to be a negative 7. Okay, so hopefully you uh, understand how to add these positive and negative numbers, and this brings us to subtraction. So as I said, what we do is we take subtraction problems and we turn them into addition problems. Okay, so we don't like doing subtraction problems, we like doing addition problems, and the way we do that is in the following manner. So let's suppose we had 6 minus 10. So this is what we call plus negative in math. Okay, so we take this subtraction sign, we're going to turn it into a positive sign. But then for doing that, we have to put the negative sign to the, to the right, okay, or in front of the number to the right. So once again, 6 minus 10 became 6 plus negative 10. They're the same thing as far as math's concerned. Okay, so 6 plus negative 10 is, of course, going to be negative 4. All right, so what's, um, what's more? If you know how to add positive and negative numbers, negative numbers, you'll know how to subtract them. So the only uh, scenario that you have to face, the, the last scenario that we need to talk about, or you might face, is something like this. What if we had like negative 7 minus a negative 3? Okay, so what do we do there? All right, so once again, we're not going to do subtraction problems. We're going to do addition problems. We're going to do plus negative. But now we have a negative of a negative. We just got, We have to just go ahead and just define what that is. So a negative of a negative is always positive, or the opposite of a negative is always positive. So this equivalent problem would be negative 7 plus a positive 3. Okay, and then we look at that, we subtract the two numbers, and we look at the larger number, it's 7, it's a negative, um, has a negative sign, so our answer would be negative 4. All right, so this is just a real quick rehash of the rules of positive and negative numbers. You absolutely have to master them. And um, if you need any more help with this, come on over to our site, algebratesthelper.com. Um, free resource, okay, chock filled of uh, free videos and tutorials, all designed to make math easy to learn. All right, so good luck and hope to see you soon.